Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to expand the algebraic expression using the Pascal's triangle, and this is how to make a Pascal's triangle. So we have 1, then 1 and 1, then always starts with 1. Add these two numbers, so 1 plus 1, that's 2, then ends with 1. Then continue the process, so starts with 1, add these two numbers, so 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, then ends with 1, starts with 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, then ends with 1, then starts with 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, then ends with 1, then we have 1, then 6, this is 15, 20, then 15, 6, and 1, then just continue the process, so this is how to make E Pascal's triangle. Then for the exponent, so starts with x plus y, quantity to the power 0, then x plus y, quantity to the power 1, x plus y, quantity to the power 2, x plus y, quantity to the power 3, x plus y, quantity to the power 4, x plus y, quantity to the power 5, this is x plus y, quantity to the power 6. Then continue until x plus y, quantity to the power n. Then for this even, to expand this algebraic expression using this Pascal's triangle, since for this even, the exponent is 5, and this is the equation with exponent 5, so therefore, these are the numerical coefficients for every terms. So we have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Then followed by the first term. So since the first term is 3x and the exponent is 5, so starts with 3x to the power 5, then the exponent for the first term must be going down. So we have 3x to the power 5, then going down, 3x to the power 4, 3x to the power 3, 3x to the power 2, then 3x to the power 1. Then this time for the second term, so we have 2y to the power 5, so I prefer to start on the last term since this one is the last term. So therefore, for the last term, the second term, that's 2y to the power 5. Then going backward, so 2y to the power 4, 2y to the power 3, 2y to the power 2, and 2y to the power 1. Then for the operation, since this is minus, so therefore the operation must be in alternate. So the first term always positive, since minus, so alternate, so positive, then negative, positive, negative, positive, then negative. So this is the sign if this one is minus. Then to simplify, so this 3 to the power 5, so we have 3 to the power 5 equals that's 243. So this is 243, then x to the power 5, then minus 5 times 3 to the power 4, this one is 81. 
then x to the power 4, then times 2y, then plus 10 times 3 to the power 3, this is 27, then x to the power 3, then times this 2 to the power 2, this is 4, then y to the power 2, then minus 10 times 3 to the power 2, that's 9, then x to the power 2, then times 2 to the power 3, this is 8, then y to the power 3, then plus 5 times 3x, and this 2 to the power 4, this one is 16, then y to the power 4, then minus 2 to the power 5, that's 32, then y to the power 5. Then to simplify, so this is 243, x to the power 5 then minus so multiply these numbers so we have 5 times 81 times 2 so we have 5 times 81 times 2 equals that's 810 so minus 810 then x to the power 4 y then plus, multiply these numbers, we have 10 times 27 times 4. So 10 times 27 times 4 equals, that's 1080. So this is 1080. Then x to the power 3, y to the power 2, then minus this 10 times 9 times 8. So we have 10 times 9 times 8 equals that 720. So this is 720. Then x to the power 2, y to the power 3, then plus this 5 times 3 times 16. So we have 5 times 3 times 16 equals that's 240. So this is 240, then x, y to the power 4. Then bring down this negative 32, y to the power 5. So this is now the expansion for 3x minus 2y quantity to the power 5.